Hi, my name is David and welcome to this video. In today's video, I'll show you how to use the subtitle markdown feature in VSDC free video editor. And this is a new feature. Uh, it has uh, just been released in version 7.1. And let me show you how everything works. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a blank project. Just click on that. Title your project the way you want to title it and set the resolutions that you want. I'll just go with what I have set here. 1280 by 720 and everything uh, looks as good as I want it to be. So I'll just click on finish and we'll get the new interface and the new scenes etc. So let's begin by adding our new video. Click on add object, open video, just, uh, navigate to where your video is and where you have the subtitles to this video for. So just click on that and click on open. And then from this, uh, we need to select the object position settings. I'll just click on from CASA, which is at uh, the start, 000, and there's nothing else I'll change here. Just click on OK. So once I do that, I now need to import our subtitles. Now the first thing you'll notice is the subtitle uh, icon has changed. So we now have CC. You can click on this, or you can go to Object, Subtitles, or press on Shift S. So let's click on this. So we've clicked on that. Navigate to the folder with the subtitle. That is the SRT or the subrib subtitles you want to add to your video in VSTC. So let's just select this one. And then let's click on open. Now from here, the object position settings dialog box again. We'll just go with from CASA position. Uh, because this subtitle is timed, it's going to uh, look good because everything is set. Just click OK. Now, as always, in VSDC, you probably think there's nothing that is happening. But when you look at my CASA, it is in a plus uh, kind of CASA. So you'll need to come to this section, just select and uh, pull it to where you want it to be. Uh, you can make different adjustments if you want to pull it up a little bit. But now what you'll see is that we have a whole layer down here. Now, in the previous video, I mentioned that this uh, uh, doesn't really work well, especially if you want to make changes to the position of a single subtitle. But now, using the subtitle markup, we can just, uh, we, are, we already have a subtitle selected. Let's move to the subtitle settings here from the properties. And you'll see the option to add markers. Click on add markers. And once you do that, you'll see all the markers appear down here. Now, these markers display or indicate where the subtitles are. So if I hover over this section, there is no subtitle that is going to be somewhere there, but there is another one that moves there, changes that, changes that, etc. So if you want to edit this, move them uh, for or to the front or backward, you can just click on this. And once you just double click, you'll now come into this section where you'll see the markers. Now, with these markers, if I zoom in slightly to the timeline, let's just zoom in a little bit faster. Then what you can do is you can now move the subtitle where you want it to be. So if you wanted to move this section, you can just hold that and move it to where you want it to be. Let's press on Control Z because that is already timed and there's no need to do that. Once you're done, just close this and you'll see your subtitles here. And if I scroll this, uh, uh, scroll by here, you can click on edit subtitles. And once you do that, you can make any edits you want, especially if it's a spelling issue, uh, if it's uh, subtitles that you've realized uh, that they need to be changed, then you can make those changes from here. And then you can create or adjust the markers uh, the way you want them to be by just double clicking on the layer for the subtitles and then adjusting the different uh, sections where you want the subtitles to be. So that is a subtitle uh, markdown feature uh, that has been just released inside VSDC free video editor and also the paid version. But uh, this is just a fast look. Uh, let me know if you like this in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.